Jeremy Frimpong, Celtic Young Player of the Year. Congratulations, Jeremy. How does it feel to you've, you're holding that award? How does that feel? Feels feels amazing. Like it's it's crazy. Like it's my first year, and to be winning a thing like this is it's unreal. But obviously, I thank my supporters and my teammates as well because if it wasn't for them, I won't be holding this. So yeah, it's amazing. I mean, as obviously these awards are special because as the Celtic supporters who vote for them. You were up against Odson, Chris Ayer and Mikey Johnson. So, a tough field, but you, you saw them off. Exactly. Like, I'm always uh, competing against my teammates. Like, my teammates, they're unreal. Like, they're so good. I like competing against the likes of Odson, Mikey Johnstone, all of these guys. It's it's crazy. So, I'm just happy to be in it to win this. I mean, I, I remember interviewing you when you first signed for Celtic way back in September. I'm sure even in your world of streams, you couldn't have imagined how well your first season at Celtic's gone. <laughs> I know it's, it's all been crazy, but obviously when I, when I step on the field, it's just focus mode and just do what I can do, do what I can bring to the team. And that's it. Just work hard. Yeah. You mentioned your teammates there. Obviously, it was Neil Lennon that brought you to, to Celtic. How important has he been in your development this season? Obviously, if a, if, a man, if a manager has trust in you, that's all the motivation you need because... If the manager trusts in you, just go out and play. Like you don't have to play with any fear. Just go do what you do. And if you have good teammates as well, like what what everything's there just for you. I mean, some of these guys, obviously, like Sir Scott Brown, James Forrest, they've been here for all nine in a row. You've now won your first league title. How, how does that feel? Just to be a, a league winner exactly. with Celtic as well. Exactly. It's not even about the young player for me. It is. The team and we won the league as a team, so I'm really happy about that. Like, my, my, like I said, my first year winning the league, it, it's 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 unreal. It's unreal. Like I'm I'm still happy. I'm still happy. And obviously, like the rest of your teammates, you'll just be desperate now. Late at the end of the tunnel, back training with the team, and hopefully at the start of August we we start the new season. Can't wait. All I just want to do is touch a ball because I've just been running, 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 running. I just want to touch the ball with my teammates, just have laughs, and then focus on the new season ahead. Now, obviously, you know, I was sp speaking to you there about you guys get challenges every day at training. Unfortunately, you've not been able to do the sprinting challenge, which I think everybody knows you would you would win out the park. It's not even it's not it's not even a question. That I think they, <laughs> they all, <laughs> they all know what's going to happen. <laughs> well, that's the you're throwing down the gauntlet for when you're back training. <laughs> I mean, in terms of of that first season. Uh, you know, you make your first team debut, you've scored two goals for us, you've won the League Cup, you've won the league, and you're also the only Celtic player that's got his own catchphrase as well. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> <laughs> but that, you must, you must uh, again, just talk about the football, you know, to, to be playing for a club like Celtic and to be winning trophies, that, that's why you want to be a footballer. Exactly, like, obviously Celtic is a big team, like a big, big team, and to be winning the Young Player of the Year for Celtic, that's that's unreal. Like, I'm I'm just so happy with myself. It's all good. And I suppose having set your benchmark so high, you know, you just need to keep working hard once you're back training because you just want to keep improving. Of course, of course. Like this young player, there is not the only goal. I want to win more trophies as a team, like as much as I can. And then after I retire, I'll be I'll be happy. That's that's going to be a long time in the future. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. So for me, for me, my focus ahead is just to win as much trophies as I can, and then that's it. And I suppose I, I guess in your teammates will be the likes of Scott Brown and James Furrows will be telling you how important this season is. Is, is Celtic go for ten in a row? Ex exactly. Like Scott Brown, Carl McGregor. Ever since I joined, they've been giving me like um, they've been giving me advice like how it is all this, and it's it's really helped me as a player. Because obviously, I, when I came to Celtic, I was still kiddish, I think, childish, I think. And then obviously, as I've been playing with them, like, I've learned new things in the game, everything. So I know how important next season is going to be. Because, and for me, I, I, I don't like losing, so I know how important it is myself. Like, like it's going to be good and I can't wait. Well, listen, it's been great talking to you, Jeremy. It's, it's great to see you and congratulations again on being a young player of the year. Thank you, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you.